There's your plan. <laughs> Constantly I'm running across people that do not hear bird noises. You know, I cannot not hear anything. Right there. Pileated woodpecker. There's all this beautiful music in this in the trees. And there's just this unawareness of what's out there and why it's important to keep that in place. And everything that we have, everything we are, is a result of these natural systems that are in place. Nature working as a big system and all the places, all the pieces intact. And those are going away. Those were taking piece by piece out so much just by our general activities that the natural systems as we know it are in danger of, of going away. Spiritually and physically, you need the nurturing of what's out there. I mean, it, it just, uh, I, I, myself personally, if I live in the human world and I'm too long surrounded by people in that whole world, I start getting real grumpy and there's something wrong and a lot of times I can't even put my finger on it. I'm just not happy. I get out and it's like, <sighs> you know, there's this big sigh of relief and you need to get away to be able to put it into perspective and to, you know, to, to see what's actually really real, what keeps you alive. And, and you know, all the people that I know that are the happiest people have that connection. You know, there, there's something deeper about the, the ancient connection that man has always had with nature that we've just lost. We quit living around a fire and started living in a living room around a TV, you know. And, and, and now that with the, the technology the way it is, it's more and more so. There's more and more reasons to not have to do this. So that's, that's just my whole reason to be able to do, to do this stuff is to just get people's, give people another reason to go out there and, and learn about it and be invested in saving it.